On December 5, 2022, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory made history at the National Ignition Facility when researchers achieved fusion ignition for the first time after decades of hard work and with the help of new artificial intelligence-driven simulation modeling capabilities. These state-of-the-art techniques were developed with the support of the Data Science Institute, the laboratory's hub for big machines, big data, and big ideas which operates at the confluence of high-performance computing, rich scientific data sets, and innovative technologies. Researchers had to consider countless variables when planning how exactly the December experiment would take place, with a nearly infinite number of possible experimental conditions and outcomes, accounting for and identifying those with the best chance of success would be an almost insurmountable challenge. Until now, and thanks to recent advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning. With AI entering the picture, new doors have been opened, new opportunities have been created in terms of large-scale scientific applications like NIF, which would not have been possible a decade ago. So that's where I think AI has a big role to play to making this needle in the haystack problem practical. AI and machine learning are science terms used a lot in mainstream media, but what is artificial intelligence and how is it different from machine learning? LLNL computational physicist Luke Peterson defines AI as a computer algorithm designed to mimic human behavior. Think of building artificial intelligence, like coaching a batter to hit a softball off a tee. The ball doesn't move when the batter swings, so their only focus is to make contact. With each swing, the batter's hits will likely improve. As a next step, machine learning is an AI system that improves itself as it sees more data. To hit a ball thrown by a pitching machine, the batter must use what they learned from hitting the ball on the tee while making adjustments to their swing between pitches. More practice will yield better hits. Machine learning researchers, in a similar way, teach AI to adjust to new situations for more accurate predictions. In a problem like NIF, both of these have been useful, right? Where you want from the ground up data analysis tools, but you also need these complex decision-making systems that can make a decision on the fly. I need to run an experiment. Which one do I run? It's, it's not an easy decision to make, even for a domain expert. So AI and machine learning are working hand in hand, both these communities have gotten together, and these kind of scientific problems are benefiting out of it. Cognitive simulation, or COGSIM, is an advanced machine learning tool able to create models that learn from both simulation and real-world data. When our batter faces a live pitcher for the first time, they may need to make adjustments in order to connect bat with ball, perfect their swing timing, and learn to hit the ball well. COGSIM enables researchers to coach AI to design experiments with home run results every time. 10 years ago, we had to run all of our simulations by hand. You want to come up with a new experiment, you tweak a parameter, you run the simulation, you tweak a parameter, run a simulation. Well, what cognitive simulation allows us to do is use machine learning to orchestrate all of that on a supercomputer. So you can automate that. You no longer have to limit yourself to one or two parameters by hand, but you really can go in and scan tens of parameters, hundreds of parameters in an automated fashion. So that's really changed the way that we can really do science. We're no longer limited to searching around kind of perturbations what we know, and we can look broadly at what else could be out there. COGSIM, along with data from previous NIF shots, helped expand the number of simulations with different possible parameters, such as the shape of the target capsule or the pattern of movement by the fuels contained within. From these optimal simulation codes generated by COGSIM, researchers could improve predictions about what would happen in a real experiment. So it's a way of, of enhancing what's been done before. 
typically we rely on 2D simulations of 3D experiments and you miss some subtleties that, that you would actually see in the experiment when you run in 2D. What cognitive simulation has let us do is take our less accurate but inexpensive uh, codes and basically learn the transfer function that takes you from an slightly inaccurate code prediction to experimental expectations. So we can kind of calibrate or learn the difference between our uh, not perfect code and what we might expect in the experiments. In the past, determining the optimal set of simulation parameters and experimental conditions would have taken months. Through the enhanced prediction capabilities of COGSIM, the team achieved an optimistic prediction for fusion ignition in just a few days. For this December shot, um, we predicted a greater than 50% chance of this particular design uh, reaching the ignition threshold and exceeding it. And that was the first time we've ever made such a such a prediction. Um, for example, the, the August 2021 shot, which was a previous record uh, yield shot, only had a 17% chance of exceeding the, the ignition threshold. LLNL researchers and capabilities like COGSIM will only be enhanced with access to El Capitan, LLNL's new exascale computer slated to come online in 2024. Your average laptop computer runs maybe two gigahertz processors. Exascale is a billion times that. So give every person in the United States three laptops, hook them all up together, and have them all try to solve fusion at the same time. And we're using the fusion problem and El Capitan as a test bed for that. How could you build a system that could orchestrate a billion laptops, get them all to work on the same problem and all figure out together, you know, what's the next best thing we could do? These incredible advances in AI and machine learning simulation capabilities are just some of the exciting work being done at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Learn more at data-science.llnl.gov.